Tell me your craziest one in a million story, something that happened to you that you just can't believe was real. What started as a 60 second post on TikTok quickly touched the hearts of millions of people across the world. I didn't think this was gonna happen. <laughs> I just thought I would just make the TikTok. Julia and Cassandra met while working at the Russian Lady Bar in New Haven. One day, Julia noticed Cassandra's tattoo of the Dominican flag, and that's when they got to talking. What they both didn't realize at the time is that they were both adopted from the Dominican Republic. Now, coworkers always told them that they looked alike, so they just went with it. We had an event one day, and I bought a shirt that said, I'm the big sister, and her shirt said, I'm the little sister. And, you know, and everyone just would go along with it, and so would we. Courtney, a friend and coworker of both Julia and Cassie, had a feeling they were related from the beginning. When I started with Cassie, I met Julia, and I looked at the to both of them, and I thought, I was like, you two look alike. Like, are you guys sisters? And we were, and she was like, no, we're not. We were both adopted from the Dominican Republic. And I was like, well, you guys look a lot alike. Like, is there, there's, there's got to be something going on. They have similar facial features. Like Cassie has that very, like that rounder face, the cheekbones. They, they did, they both have the, that rounder look to their face. Rewind to when Julia was adopted. Julia's adoptive mom flew to the Dominican Republic with another adoptive mom to meet their babies. Julia's best friend Molly was adopted the same day at the same time as her, and their mom stayed close as well. What they didn't know until about almost 30 years later, their paperwork was accidentally switched at birth. So her best friend has her paperwork and she has her best friend's paperwork. About five years ago, when Julia and Cassandra got serious about figuring out if they were in fact related, they realized their adoption paperwork didn't match up, but Molly's did. Molly's ancestry DNA results said that she was cousins with Cassandra's sister, so she couldn't possibly be her biological sibling. She was like, well, I can't be her sister then, but my paperwork says that our mom is the same mom. And then we were like, wait, what? Like, what's going on here? You know, and I felt like I was kind of the missing piece to this, like, mystery. So that's why I finally agreed to do the 23andMe, because other, if Molly didn't do that, we would have never done this. And after two and a half weeks of patiently waiting, the results were in. We're sisters! <laughs> and so, by fate, friends turned into family. In 2018, Cassandra did a DNA test to connect with her biological father and siblings back in the Dominican Republic and had tough conversations with her biological dad, who said he and her mom suffered every day with the decision to put her up for adoption. When you adopt a child, you don't know their stories. He said to me, he said, Miha, you have no idea what it's like to be poor and hear your children screaming because they're so hungry and you have no money to feed them. And like, my heart just broke for him. You know, I could, I'm not a parent, so I don't understand. So I couldn't imagine like, just having to, you know, give up your daughter because you just don't, you just don't have it. Cassandra has visited them several times and said the moment she met her dad and seven siblings, she felt right at home. There is just an enormous amount of people standing there with t-shirts with my face on them. And it was the most emotional thing I think I've probably ever been through. And my father and I just embraced each other and like he would not let me go. I would not let him go. Julia had no interest in finding her biological family. She didn't want to and I know her resistance a lot of it was because you know it's tough when when you are adopted. You know I'm not but I do know I do have other friends that are and you know not knowing who you truly are and knowing your sense of reality could change is scary. But now that she has a partner to navigate this new journey with She's all on board. I've actually met the family over um, FaceTime. Um, and it, it's just a great moment. Um, and I definitely want to go visit them now. Um, I just didn't have any interest, you know, doing it by myself. You know, I just didn't, you know, you don't know what your, you know, DNA is going to bring up. A true one in a million story of happiness, family and love. Lauren Zenzi, Fox 61 News.